CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 176 through 180 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 176. A company is launching a customer-facing application that must remain accessible at all times, even during security device failures. To support this requirement, the inbound firewall has been configured with a fail open setting. Which of the following security objectives is the company prioritizing? The answer is C. Availability. A fail open configuration on a firewall allows traffic to continue flowing if the firewall fails, prioritizing availability over other security goals. This ensures that critical services remain online and accessible, even during a failure, which is especially important for customer-facing applications. However, this approach may come with trade-offs in terms of reduced control and protection during outages. Question 177. A mobile device user installs an application by downloading its APK file from a third-party website instead of using an official app store. Which of the following threats could potentially be introduced during this sideloading process? The answer is B. Rootkit. Sideloading refers to installing applications from unofficial sources which bypasses the security checks performed by official app stores. This introduces the risk of installing malicious software, such as rootkits, which can embed themselves deep within the operating system and gain persistent, unauthorized access. Rootkits are particularly dangerous because they are difficult to detect and remove, and may allow attackers to control the device. Question 178. A company has yearly projects with a third-party service provider. Instead of negotiating the general terms and conditions each time, the company wants to create a reusable agreement that defines responsibilities and legal terms, which can be reviewed every few years. Which of the following would best support this goal? The answer is A. MSA. A Master Service Agreement, or MSA for short, defines the overall legal and operational terms between two parties and serves as a foundation for future agreements. It streamlines repeated engagements by avoiding the need to renegotiate terms each time, allowing the company to only update project-specific details like timelines and pricing. This makes the MSA the most efficient choice for recurring work under consistent general terms. Question 179. While updating the company's security awareness training, a security analyst wants to educate employees about the risks associated with compromised vendor email accounts. Which of the following recommendations should the analyst include in the training? The answer is D. Watch for unusual requests from known email addresses. A compromised vendor account can still send messages from a familiar and trusted address, which makes phishing attempts more convincing. Watching for unusual requests from known email addresses helps employees detect signs of fraud, such as urgent payment instructions, odd language, or unfamiliar attachments. This awareness reduces the risk of falling for business email compromise and similar social engineering attacks. Question 180. A company has implemented a new policy requiring all employees to use multi-factor authentication when accessing internal systems. In addition to a username and password, which of the following would best satisfy this requirement? The answer is B. Biometrics. Biometrics provide a strong form of multi-factor authentication by verifying something the user is such as a fingerprint or facial recognition. This method is secure, difficult to forge, and convenient for end users. In a typical MFA setup, biometrics are used alongside a password to strengthen access security. 
Additionally, authentication tokens, such as hardware keys or mobile apps that generate one-time codes, are becoming increasingly popular as another effective option for MFA protection. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.